so guys we got a 2016 Chevy Cruze that came in for check engine light scanned it using my launch and we got a P1101 intake airflow system performance and then we got a B125C satellite antenna circuit so I'm gonna look up and repair information find out what these codes mean. I think this might be like a mass airflow sensor code, but I don't remember. I'm gonna look it up, double check, and we'll be right back. So guys, I printed out the information here. That's two DTCs. So we got the P1101, so we gotta to refer to that. And it says the conditions for running the test gotta be 400 to 600. RPMs, I guess. Plus or minus 100 RPM, I guess that's what that means. I don't know exactly what that means. But our engine coolant has to be above 19 degrees. Intake must be negative 4 to 257. So if we come down here, right here it asks you to verify it. Then here it says, ignition on. Verify with the scan tool. Uh, this airflow compens compensation parameter is less than 90%. Well, this says ignition on, so let me turn the car off. Because right now with the car running, it says 100%. See what it says right now. It says 100%. And then it says, refer to throttle body cleaning and inspection. So I guess that's what we're going to do. Let me record these real quick. There we go. So I guess now we'll pull the pipe off right here and we'll check our throttle body. See if it got to be cleaned. Okay guys, so the throttle body Looks pretty dirty around the edges. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know if it's enough to affect it. But we'll get it all cleaned up. And we'll see what happens. Okay guys, so we got the throttle body all clean. Clean both sides and all the edges. You can see there's no ring going around anymore. Even on the throttle body housing. So we got that screwdriver out of there we'll get this all cleaned up and then see if it changes so guys I just wanted to see a change I didn't reset any adaptives all I did was clean it put it back together to start it up and look our mass airflow sensor and our calculators are pretty close together now and also our throttle position is down to 12 percent so that's a huge difference like our whole airflow it's a lot lower. Our idle seems to be a little bit more stable now. The desired idle speed's are lower. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the tool and see if we can actually we could do this together. See if there's a throttle body to relearn or anything. Let's see. Let's go back. Um, we're gonna want to clear our codes. Special functions. There we go.
Let's learn functions. I don't know if we have to be running to do this. Yeah, it's not doing anything. Oh, maybe it's going to do the learn because... It might be in a learn state right now. Yeah. Go back to what was that? I think we were in this. That might be all we needed. <laughs> oh, you know what? We don't have our calculated. So we're down to 10%. Calculated airflow. Slightly lower. Look how low our mass airflow sensor reading is now. So I'm going to let this sit here in idle for a little bit. And then we'll take it out for a test drive. And we'll see what happens. We'll record this. Okay guys. So we're gonna go for a test drive. Hopefully you guys can see like our grams per second versus, I mean our calculated grams per second versus our mass airflow sensor within 0 0.2, which I think is probably pretty normal. Right now our throttle body compensation's at zero. We're in drive, not moving, and our throttle position's 12, so that looks good. So let's take this for a drive real quick, and we'll see We'll see how it works. show. Look at that, our mass airflow, our calculated mass airflow is still pretty good. Throttle body compensation is at 12. I think it usually goes up to like 16 or so. I could be wrong. Let's see, this is our throttle body position. It's at 11 right now.
Okay, guys, so we're back. Let's uh, check our information here. Look how much lower our calculated airflow is now. And our mass airflow sensor. Compensation's at 20. I think that's what I said it would go to. Throttle position is at 8. That's a lot lower. Let's go. Can we bring up graph? Oh, we can. It's on. Oh, I hope that's saved. So our mass airflow sensor. We're at like seventy. Calculated was like seventy. Looks like. I think we're good to go, guys. I'd have to go back through and look at all the data, but I'm going to call this confirm fix. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is confirm fix. So, I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys like it.